In this video, we'll be using integral properties with even functions. So we're given these three integrals, and we want to compute negative, the integral from negative 3 to 3 of f of 3x dx, given that f is an even function. So we're going to show two different ways to solve this. The first way is to recognize that whenever I have the integral from negative a to a of an even function, I can write this as twice the integral from 0 to a of that even function. So in this case, I'm going to say twice the integral from 0 to 3 of my function. And now I can take a u substitution, let u equal 3x, and so du is going to equal 3dx. So these limits here are in terms of x, so if I set x equal to 0, plug it into this equation right here. x is 0, u is 0, and if x is 3, u is 9. And then I solve for dx here to get 1 3rd du. So I have a 2 outside and I multiply by 1 3rd to get to 2 thirds. And then my limit for the integral is 0 to 9. Now this thing is the same thing as just saying integral from 0 to 9 f of x dx which is given to us as 12. So we take 2 thirds of 12 and that's going to give us 8. Now we could also have done it a different way by first doing the u substitution and got in the, that we have 1 third times the integral negative 9 to 9 of f of u du. And so when x is 3 you get 9 and when x is negative 3 you get negative 9. So you would just plug it into that equation. And then you still get here dx is 1 third du. So now you have to use this over here, this, uh, this rule. So we have twice 1 third times the integral from 0 to 9. And that's what we had over here, which was 8. Okay, now let's solve the integral from negative 3 to 3 of f of 1 third x dx. So this is the same thing as twice the integral from 0 to 3. And now I can take a u substitution. I'm going to let u equal 1 third x. That means du is 1 third dx. And so dx will be 3 times du. I have a 2 outside already, and I'm going to multiply that by 3 to get to 6. Now when x is 0 u is also 0, but when x is 3, u is 1. So that's how I have the integral from 0 to 1. Now this thing is the same thing as saying integral from 0 to 1 f of x dx, which is 4. So we just do 6 times 4, that's 24. Alternatively, we could have just done a u substitution from the beginning, and when x is negative 3, u would have been negative 1. And when x was 3, u would be 1. And then you still get du, oh, sorry, dx is 3 times du, so we just put the 3 outside. And then we would apply twice the integral from 0 to 1, f of u du. So you do 2 times 3 will give you 6. So we have the same integral over here. And so that's going to equal 24. Finally, Let's look at the integral from 1 to 3 of f of 3x dx. This one we cannot take advantage that of f being an even function because you want it to be over um, an interval where it's negative a to a, like negative 3 to 3, for example. This one is 1 to 3. So it's not going to work out like this. So what we have to do is just straight up u substitution. When u is 3x, du is 3dx. So these are in terms of x. x is 1, x is 3. When x is 1, we get 3. When x is 3, we get 9. And here we solve for dx to be 1 3rd du. So that's why we have a 1 3rd out here. We change the limits. Now, one thing to notice is if I go from 0 to 9, that's the same thing as going from 0 to 3 and 3 to 9. So I want to solve for 3 to 9, that means I have to subtract both sides 
by integral 0 to 3. And that's what I have over here. So I have a 1 third, and then 0 to 9 comes first, minus 0 to 3. Of course, 1 third is still there. Now, 0 to 9 f of u du is just, again, 0 to 9 f of x dx. doesn't really matter what letter I have here or variable. That is 12. So we have 1 third times 12 minus 1 third. 0 to 3 is negative 6. So this one we have to divide by 3, which will give us 6 as our final answer.